be you be yourself there's no need for you to be copying other people there's no need for you to be a sheep huh because last time i thought you were speaking english not meh meh <laughs> <laughs> Do not forget to click that subscribe button down below so that you can join the family and you know join me on my adventures and shit you know so um go ahead and click the button if you haven't already but if you are a returning subscriber then welcome back baby <laughs> i don't know what that was about to be honest so uh please just mind that today's video is going to be me basically talking about the lessons that i've learned so far in 2020 so let's get to it it's not really in a specific order it's just lessons i've learned so first one on the list is keep your circle small but before i like elaborate on why that was my lesson i'm going to quickly fill up my cup be right back back and better so yes the first one says keep your circle small because you don't really know someone hey people <laughs> people are weird and people will show you their true colors in situations you'd never really imagined you'd be in you know so it was kind of weird for me when i had to learn that lesson and actually fully accept it because it's like I considered you as a friend you know someone I could trust you know and once someone breaks your trust it's just like hmm I'm not I can show sure, man I'm not saying I'm perfect or anything like that please guys I ain't perfect either we all make mistakes in life but like keep your circle small man just it's just more peaceful that way you know and I feel like every day everybody gotta you know choose peace choose themselves choose to be happy you know cancel all that toxicity you know i think i've spat enough <laughs> next up on the list is don't force situations let things be it's gonna be difficult to accept some things grasp some like or even process some situations like fully because it takes a lot of internal introspection and all that stuff and a whole lot of hurt because having to learn that whatever will be like you know whatever's meant to be will be type vibe it's like it sucks i'm glad i learned though i mean i feel like a lot of people experience that whole what's meant to be will be vibe uh, especially this year during the whole like coronavirus thing where now people are losing jobs and you don't even know what tomorrow's gonna look like type vibes you know and next one on the list is it's okay to say no guys I do not know how much to emphasize this but we literally have to let go of that fear of first of all abandu bazotini you know or that fear of ah oh, I don't want to be too mean or you know I don't know just that thing of not choosing yourself in this situation like guys choose yourselves you have yourself at the end of the day you only have yourself to look after to look out for so when you're saying no to someone it is basically you choosing to be selfish and i'm not saying that in a mean way i'm saying you need to be selfish sometimes and choose yourself stop always being a yes man you know just give yourself a break too don't feel bad for saying no afterwards don't say no because you're choosing to be selfish but then you overthink how you said it and now it's gonna make you feel like you were too mean and then you're gonna say no i'm just joking just do this whatever what do you need type vibe like guys no 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 when you say no you have to make sure that you mean it so that you're just you know avoiding things that you don't really need to get yourself into type vibes because yeah You just don't have to um, next one on the list is don't feel bad for doing things others are doing too you know why because if you want to then you should just do it the way i learned this lesson was because of this whole youtube channel thing and 
I know there are a lot of people that say, I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel. And you know what? Same here. <laughs> this is actually a fact that no one really knows about me. I started a YouTube channel literally when I was in primary school. I was way too young in that like video that I attempted to upload. Actually, I did upload it and then I think I deleted it because I was still young. In my opinion, I was still too young and I still cared a lot about what people think. But now I'm just like, baby, no, you got the wrong one, boo. But yeah, um, it was actually called Shorty's Adventures. And that's basically it. I uploaded a video, quality was trash, felt insecure, thought too much about it, and yeah. Never did that again until I started literally this year. And I'm actually very grateful for, for basically being forced to stay indoors because I had a lot of time on my hands and I felt like it was a productive distraction in a way. There's nothing wrong with everyone starting a YouTube channel, guys. If you're watching this and you're either thinking of starting a YouTube channel or like contemplating on whether you should start or not or just thinking about YouTube, you know, in a way good to like I'm capable of creating content, then baby, go for it. Start that channel now. I want people to just start channels and live their best lives and just do what they want. Do what you want and do not feel bad for it. Be you unapologetic eh? be you unapologetic be you unapologetically bro that's the next one on the list i don't need to explain that just be you be yourself there's no need for you to be copying other people there's no need for you to be a sheep huh because last time i thought you were speaking english not meh meh <laughs> okay that was kind of funny in my opinion. Mm, let's continue real quick. I hope you have your little coffee or whatever popcorn because we still we're still talking. We're still talking. If you're still watching, I hope you've either liked, left a comment, or clicked <laughs> that subscribe button down below, babe. Okay, anyways, next up. It's okay to not be okay like yo do not feel bad or weak or pathetic when you are hurting emotionally mentally physically or law guys like speak to someone there are people that love you out there or maybe find a healthy coping mechanism that is going to help you get through what you're going through so that you can grow through it Maya Angelo has entered the chat, guys. What? Nah, 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 guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Talk to me nicely. Do not rush the healing process. Guys, these sort of like lessons that I've learned, hey, I was really going through it, hey? You have to allow yourself to take each day as a car. Uh, next up is... <laughs> I said money management as a student is crucial. <laughs> but guys... I didn't want to say it, but like, <laughs> do you see this? <laughs> Ciao. Mm -mm. I don't even know, man. Yo! Anyways. <laughs> Time waits for nobody. Okay, boo. But I'm also really encouraging you to live your best life. Live your best life. Don't care what people say. Let go of that Ubuntu Buzzle Teen Syndrome and live your life. Do what you want, my boy. Like, honestly, bruh. You only live once for real. Oh, child, I'm tired. Yo, I talk too much.